the ultra-woke left-wing actor Alan Cumming, who received an OBE 14 years ago, has just discovered that the title stands for Order of the British Empire. So now, he's having a meltdown. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the clown world. This is absolutely fascinating. And the most insane news story of the week. To be fair, at least top two, top three. Because it's been crazy this week, all the other nonsensical stuff that we had. For those who remember, we have an actor called Alan Cumming. And he is... Yeah, he's, he's doing his thing. And because he was good enough to receive an honour from the palace a while ago, he got an OBE, which stands for Order of the British Empire. Somehow, <laughs> after all these years, he's discovered, he's only just discovered, that the British Empire existed. And that his evil ancestors were associated with the British Empire. So, <laughs> he's decided to uh, fly the white flag and surrender to his past. And he's decided to return his OBE. What on earth is happening to our world? Okay, so he received his OBE back in 2009. And, uh, you know, he met the, the royal family, went to the palace. He had a great time, took pictures. He gloated about it when he, was, when he suited him. And now he's decided to return it because suddenly Britain is evil. <clears throat> he decided to release this statement on social media saying that the Queen's death and ensuing uh, conversations about the role of monarchy and especially the way the British Empire profited at the expense of indigenous peoples across the world really opened my eyes. Oh, wow, where were you before? <laughs> also, he says, thankfully, Times and laws in the US have changed. And the great good that the awards brought to the LGBTQ plus 1378 cause um, back in 2009 is now less potent than the misgivings I have been associated with the toxicity of the empire. <laughs> so I returned my award, explained my reasons, and reiterated my great gratitude for being given it. In the first place, are you, are you really, really? Was, was that gratitude? Do you really think that having an OBE means that suddenly you are responsible for any bad stuff that happened 400, 300 years ago? Really? Can you think about that, Alan? Or, or maybe the symbolism of OBE is, or things like this, it's not really just about the honours, because I'm not really interested in the honours themselves. Everything that we have in this country, including the flag, including being able to have armed forces, including the fact that we have some sort of justice system, including the fact that we technically have borders, not these days, or anything else, any pomp ceremony, any sort of set symbolism, is what makes this country this country. And every nation has it. Every culture has it. And you idiot, you're talking about a time when nations and countries were either empires or wanted to be empires. They just happened to be losers. And it's not really to condone that behavior. It's not to promote right now in the 21st century uh, some sort of imperial world. But actually that happens from the, the more metropolitan uh, globalist liberals there. Hello, European Union. Um, but otherwise, normal people are living their lives. If they get an MBE or OBE or any, any other title, it's simply for their contribution to society. So calm down. If you want to return your OBE, then that's fine. I'm sitting right here. I could get one, but uh, <laughs> you could give it to me. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this wokey, nonsensical story that uh, Alan Cumming has created. It's all about attention seeking anyway. And then uh, suddenly we're all talking about him. And those who are going to leave a comment saying, don't give him her time. Stop it. Stop saying that. It's, it's getting boring. People will keep saying, don't give him the attention he needs. I'll give him the attention he needs. He clearly needs some sort of attention. Let's give it to him. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.